boys did. I mean, yeah, obviously it was it was really disappointing. You know, I thought we played a good year uh, with the team that we had and put together a good resume, but uh, it wasn't good enough. That was kind of the room whenever it was seen that you guys didn't get in. Was it anger, sad? How was it? Uh, all of the above. Um, mostly just silence. You know, we we had high hopes and and they didn't come to fruition. Was uh, the coach's message to you guys afterwards? I mean, fortunately, we we have a lot of basketball to play. Uh, we get to play a couple more games with these guys, and uh, that's something I don't take for granted. Um, and that was kind of the message. Uh, we'll know more later tonight. Does it maybe represent an opportunity to prove a point? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what every team uh, kind of in the NIT goes goes with that mindset. You know, um, I think everyone just thinks they deserve to be in, and, and they all want to prove it. Disappointed, but kind of angry, too? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all the above. You know, I'm feeling everything. You know, uh, uh, when when you play and put that much passion into something and it doesn't turn out the way you want it to, um, you kind of feel a lot of emotions. Go back 51 weeks. You did make the NCAA tournament. You play, had a great game in Michigan, came out on the wrong end. The next day, you lose your coach. How to contrast those, where, where you thought the program was 51 weeks ago and 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 where you're at now? Um, uh, that's, that's tough. Uh, they're two totally different situations. Um, uh, but a lot of just uh, kind of upset, you know, uh, not really sure what to think. What do you what do you think of the future of the program under Mike Boynton? Um, I can't tell you how excited I am. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of young guys coming up, you know. Uh, he's a great person, so uh, I don't worry that he'll get recruits. Um, has the right culture set up here and um, has a very bright future.